Good afternoon, everyone. Marco Ricciardi from 22 Division Toronto Police. I'm uh, here with my partner, Tom Balaga. We're here to talk about a new uh, product or fairly new product. It's been about a year in, in, uh, in the market and uh, it's about the Apple AirTags. And these little things here are being used to mark a vehicle and what the thieves are doing is that they're walking around, they're shopping outside in the parking lot here and uh, what they're doing is that when they find a car that they like, they stick these to the car or place them on the car somehow. And uh, they're magnetic, so as you can see, uh, it'll stick to metal. So um, it could be hidden behind a license plate, it could be hitting in the uh, trailer uh, hitch receiver or even in a gas tank uh, cap area. And uh, once you go home, they just track their device uh, to your driveway and then uh, when you're sleeping comfortably they come and steal your car or truck so what we want to let you know is uh, some of the things to do to prevent this from happening so I'm gonna start with iPhone users if you get a notification saying that there's an air tag near you uh, what you can do is the you can use the location service of your phone to pinpoint the proximity of the uh, air tag and then once you have that air tag you can disable it if there's one of these on your vehicle, I uh, recommend that you call your local police department and the, uh, the officers will come seize it. Uh, this little shiny uh, part here and this little plastic part, uh, we could possibly get fingerprints off it and know who's been putting this on your car. Um, you uh, can also deactivate it uh, by just twisting it and pulling the battery out. The only thing that's in here is a simple watch battery. The battery on these lasts anywhere from six months up to one year. Um, of trackability so to help other people that are using non Apple phones uh, Apple created an Android version of an app called tracker detect and what it does is if an Apple air tag is around you for more than 20 minutes uh, you can download this app and you can scan the area that you're in to see if one of these has been dropped into your pocket into your purse uh, stuck to your car and after that 20 minute period has elapsed, the app will pick up because of the Bluetooth um, uh, frequency that it uses. And then you can zone in on the tag and locate it. What you can also do is you can purchase your own tags and put them inside your property so that you can track it back. Uh, also, there's many other things that we can do to prevent your vehicle from uh, being stolen, uh, along with lights and cameras and everything else. Get something visible, get a visible deterrent. So either get a steering wheel lock that either blocks your steering wheel from side to side or something that goes over your dash so you can't actually turn the steering wheel. Get an OBD2 port blocker, which is uh, the onboard diagnostic port uh, that's used to connect to your car. Get a blocker for that, or you can actually relocate it in your dash somewhere else. Get a professional to do that if you can't, uh, if you don't know what it, how to do it yourself. And then uh, lastly, uh, start covering your VIN at night while your vehicle is parked in the driveway. Not all thefts or all vehicles require that, but if you're not sure, cover it anyways. Just make sure you can remove that yourself. When asked, uh, let's say by a police officer, if you're ever stopped, you could remove that. Or even if you come to the mall, just cover your VIN so then that way it makes it harder for thieves to steal your car. So what I would suggest if um, there's a lot of information here, do a search online regarding Apple AirTags, Samsung uh, Smart Tags, and uh, a GPS tracking devices to see how you can use that for your benefit. You can also learn how people are using it uh, for their benefit. And um, I want to say thank you. Thank you for following us. Thanks for watching and uh, have yourself a great day.